I just thought I'd make a quick video to help with the a very common question uh, in organic chemistry about the problems associated with Keckley's structure for benzene. So we're going to look at the three key pieces of evidence um, that were expected from Keckley's structure and what was actually observed. Okay. So I've written everything up on the board uh, already because I've realized that I can't write and talk at the same time. So hopefully uh, you won't mind me doing that. Right, so the first bit of evidence is all about the reactivity of, um, of benzene. So because a Kekulé's structure is based on an alkene uh, with its carbon-carbon double bonds, you would expect it to be reactive, just like alkenes are, and therefore decolorize bromine. So what was found was that it was actually unreactive. It didn't react with bromine ordinarily. It would only react with bromine if a catalyst was present. So evidence number one. Number two is linked to the length of the carbon-carbon bonds around the ring. So you would expect the carbon-carbon bond length to be alternating. And that's because carbon-carbon single bonds are slightly longer than double bonds. Uh, you'd therefore expect it to be an irregular hexagon. So what's the actual um, thing that they observed? The carbon-carbon bond lengths are all the same length and they are intermediate, so they're right down the middle between the length of the two types of carbon-carbon bonds. So benzene is actually a regular hexagon. And then the third piece of evidence is linked to the enthalpy change of hydrogenation so just be careful you don't say hydration and certainly don't say the enthalpy full stop it's the enthalpy change of hydrogenation and what they did was they linked it to cyclohexanes enthalpy change of hydrogenation so you can see cyclohexane is a six-membered ring uh, when it reacts with hydrogen the enthalpy change for that reaction is minus 120 kilojoules per mole so from Kekulé's structure, with its three carbon-carbon double bonds, you'd expect it to be three times that. So that's the expected value. When they measured it, they found the enthalpy change of hydrogenation was lower. It was minus 208 kilojoules per mole. So um, benzene, uh, the enthalpy change of hydrogenation of benzene, sorry, is lex less sorry, exothermic than expected. So that's the kind of information you would need to provide if you were asked to talk about the evidence that led away from Kekulé's structure and um, gave scientists the idea for another structure, another model for benzene, which I'm sure you all know is the delocalized structure, which looks like that.